Uh, good morning. <coughs> We we communicate with our environment through our skin. This is because to maintain homeostasis and the chemical constancy of our internal milieu. The skin is the largest organ in our bodies. If uh, we are feeling hot, we produce sweat. When the temperature is high, we move away from heat and to cold areas. Or we shower. The skin contain a lot of sensory, I mean peripheral sensory receptors. Let me describe these receptors one by one. Supposing Supposing this is our skin, then the skin is divided into layers. We have epidermis, and we have high four. Uh, I mean, dermis, and we have hypodermis. In the epidermis, we have receptors called Merkel's cells. or Merkel's corpuscles. They detect fine touch. In just below the epidermis, or let us say inside the dermis, we have another group of receptors called Misna corpuscles. Misna corpuscles. And these are the dendrites of the neurons located in the ganglion, autonomic ganglion. So I'm going to, we are going to know them later. In the hypodermis, we have another types of cell called Pasnian corpuscles. Pasnian corpuscles. Also in the dermis, deep inside the dermis, we have pain receptors. And these are also nerve endings of the dendrites, of the, the, the neurons, nerve endings. Also, in the dermis, we have another types of receptors, temperature receptors, cold and heat receptors. Also, they are nerve endings. Each of these receptors senses a particular type of stimulus and it takes this information to the spinal cord 
from the spinal cord to medulla oblongata and from medulla oblongata to thalamus and from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex, the sensory cortex. In this case, it is called post central gyrus. The information is collected, the information collected travel through wires, electrical wires called alpha and delta, depending on the information from each sensory receptors. It travels into the spinal cord first. And this information is delayed when it's travel to the spinal cord. It enters the spinal cord through through dorsal root ganglia. Through dors, dorsal root. Here, this information travels here and it comes all in, information from the sensory receptor travels to the spinal cord and it is taken to the spinal cord through dorsal root ganglion. And the cell bodies of these neurons are here in autonomic ganglia all over ganglion. And the, when you look at the cross section of the spinal cord, this one is called the dorsal root ganglion. And here is the ventral root. And here is the gray matter. This is where the neurons are in the spinal cord are located. It is called gray matter. And here is the white matter. It's a, a mixture of these uh, axons going up or coming down from the brain. Here you, you sometimes have a, another neuron here is called interneuron. And the information comes from the skin and synapses with another cell body here and then this information goes back to the skin through through ventral root then from here from the spinal cord the information ascends to medulla oblongata It travels through tracts. These tracts are called gracili fasciculus and cutaneous fasciculus. And uh, they are arranged into spinothalamic tracts. Its name will tell you where it is going. L ventral tract or laminical, laminical system or dorsal system. When they reaches, when the information reaches medulla oblongata, let us say this is medulla oblongata here. The neurons that are carrying information from spinal cord at different levels synapse with the Second generation neurons here in medulla oblongata, nuclei called gracile nucleus and kinet nucleus. Then from there, this information is carried up 
to the cerebral cortex. Cerebral cortex. Where? Post central gyrus. And this information will be assessed here, will be programmed here, and is repaired back into our bodies in form of action potentials so that we move away from heat or we feel somebody will laugh or we run away when we hear a sound of a gun for example the sound of a gun so this is how information is analyzed by our bodies. Thank you.